Hello and welcome back and today I'm in a completely new field, uh, I've never done this field before, I've done the other side uh, over there there's a Roman road and on the other side of that Roman road where we found some really nice bits and pieces. Uh, today this is all rolled, it's been ploughed and rolled so uh, I'm going to have the day on here and see what we find so uh, stay tuned and have a look. Now today I'm uh, rocking it with the Equinox 600 um, as people have been watching they'll know I've just bought one so uh, I'm getting used to it now so I'm preferring it actually to be fair it's got a lot more settings and uh, sensitivity is better. I'm not particularly sure if my finds uh, ratio has gone up that much yet but uh, hopefully it will as I get more used to it so I've got it in field two which I think will be good for this field here uh, because it uh, picks up small targets from what I read in the manual and uh, hopefully with this being a Roman field there might be some Roman coins maybe hammered coins even uh, that we can pick up so uh, I'm out with Mark from Metal Detect in Lincolnshire who's right down that end of the field and maybe I've upset him he's he's way down there look isn't he but uh, there you go so let's see what we find today now it's a very distinct sound when you get one of these but it's uh, it's part of wartime uh, UK really I was going to say Lincolnshire, but wherever you go in the UK, it's just uh, shell casings from uh, you know, rifles, really. So uh, it'll go with my amassing collection of them. So not long into the day, and um, I found a little coin here. So uh, just to clean it up, it is a... It's, is it a farthing or a half penny? It's a half penny, isn't it? Let me have a look, see if we can see the monarch first. Oh, there we are. So that's Queen Victoria. That's a young Victoria as well. And just turn it over. Um, trying to keep in focus and look at the coin as well. So that's that's a half penny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a nice little half penny. See if I can get a date off that at the bottom there. Uh, Eighteen. I think that is eighteen sixty. Four, it might be 1862 but I'll put a little cute uh, little picture up just there and uh, I'll show you it when it's all cleaned up well I'm right on the edge of the field again here because I, like I said I'm going around the edge of the field and uh, there's a secret RAF installation which probably not meant to film um, I don't think you are actually because it does say at the top there not to film and uh, this has come up now, I have no idea what that could be, but probably a piece of horse hardest, do you think? That's the only thing I can put it down to. It's quite close to the surface, as you can see. I didn't even have to dig. I just moved the pinpointer about a bit, but um, anyway, an unusual find, and uh, we're certainly getting a few unusual finds in this field, so, well, let's see what else we can find. Oh, bless, and where would we be without these silver wash buttons, eh? That's another one, and it's still intact, look, so thread must have failed. But uh, I always like them, like I always say. Nice find. In with the rest of them. So we've got a spanking signal here, and just dug it out, and look what that is. And what does that look like to you? And definitely is. To me, it's a Roman fibula. Absolutely amazing. That's my first Roman fibula. All right, it's only part of, but it's my first one. There's still a little bit of decoration on there, as you can see, and down there as well, look. But the spring system's there. So, very interesting field. It's a new field to us, so it's very interesting, and quite literally, just through there is an old Roman road. So, uh, absolutely lovely. Well over the moon with that. That's made my day. Right, let's plough on to the next things. Okay, so this is the fibula just found in the field there, and as you can see, there's a slight decoration here and across here, down the spine of the fibula, and also there'd have been a bit more of a, like a fan tail there. You can see part of the spring mechanism here, which would have held a pin from this point to a point over here. Now, fibulas were not just a decorative item, but also served a practical function as well, for fastening clothing, and were used by the Greeks and the Romans but uh, this is definitely a Roman one. Right, let's get back to the metal detecting. I have to say, today there does seem to be plenty of lead in this field, so uh, 
I mean, it's, it's, it's old lead as well, so hopefully it's a good sign. I mean, I always say if there's lead in the field, especially old lead, there's other things, coins and bits and pieces, so uh, let's, let's hope for the best on that. Hey, look at that look. Oh, I've got a, quite like a musket ball. It always shows that there's activity in a field where somebody's been shooting at each other or shooting at rabbits, whatever, game birds. But lovely, nice one. I don't think that's even been fired. I think that's been dropped by the looks of it. It's so round. Lovely. Right, so under the soil, uh, this came up as a 22 on the Equinox uh, and quite a loud sound, but I've just put it over the coil now and it now comes up as an 18. And uh, I believe it does bear a bit more investigation, but that is a Roman coin. And uh, we are obviously in a Roman field, we're finding the part of the fibula. So that to me is a good day today. I'll uh, give it a bit more investigation and I'll put it in the video. So this is the Roman coin I've just found in the field and to be fair there's not really enough for me to get enough information from there without really going into it in great detail. I just haven't had the time up to now but you know there might be possibilities. You can see some are writing around the side and everything. Not the best condition coin I've found but it's Roman and it goes to the collection. Right back to the metal detecting. Well first one of this dig and it's a buckle. So I've come back to where I found the other bits of finds really because it's a bit quiet the other side of the field so uh, and uh, obviously it's paying off because the buckle's turned up. Not a pretty impressive one really but probably just a strap of something or a big farmer's belt, one of that anyway. So coming up 13 on the VDU on the Equinox and uh, it's another lump of lead. I'm finding a lot of lead in this field and really old lead. Uh, you know where it's white uh, it's that old sort of thing because of the oxidization so uh, um, hopefully a lot more finds to find yeah, with the signal i was getting there i thought i was on for another roman coin then but uh, no it's uh, another cartridge so a shell from a, a bullet probably a rifle i guess but uh, there you go it's a find and it's in the bag right on to the next find and I can see this one as soon as I've flipped out the hole and it's just one of those pesky little stud type things. So uh, nothing exciting to write home about but uh, it might be a lift the dot. I don't think so. I think it's just one of those press stud type things from somebody's barber coat or whatever. Anyway, it's a find and it's in the bag. Let's press on to the next one. They're a very small target, but giving a very good signal, and it's just a little 2-2 shell. So, uh, somebody been shooting out here, probably just rabbits or something with that, I'd guess. So, uh, anyway, it's a find and it's in the bag. Well, I put it in field two on the Equinox, expecting, uh, you know, maybe pick up a hammered coin or something like that, and find smaller items, as I read it in the manual, maybe I could be wrong. And then this tiny little object's come up now. I uh, don't know if you can see it. Try and focus it a bit, really. There you go. The smallest little thing with a little bit on the back there. I've absolutely no idea, but it's got a little pattern to it. So, uh, bears further investigation, possibly. Over a pint, I think, though. Well, you can't do a day's detecting without a shotty, can you? But, uh, that's it, that's wind it up for me now. I'm definitely off to the pub. Well, what an amazing day that's been. The first Roman fibula for me, another Roman coin, possibly. I'll just check that up though, make sure. And uh, plenty of other little bits and pieces I find. Oh, nice Victorian half penny in really good condition still. Can't believe that because uh, usually they get toasted, but uh, maybe with it being at the edge of the field, kept it to better condition longer. So. Uh, Anyway, it's goodbye from me and uh, I'll see you on the next hunt.